Plan B. It was the first day of spring, and excitement was in the air. The animals of the forest were making their way to a clearing in the woods to meet the new prince, a fawn named Bambi. The animals watched as a young prince tried to get up for the first time. Bambi felt a little wobbly on his newfound legs. Each time he began to take a few steps, Bambi's long legs would become entangled. Bambi took a tumble and landed on his bottom. The other animals couldn't help but chuckle. <laughs> Soon, Bambi learned to walk confidently alongside his mother. As they wandered through the forest, Bambi looked at everything around him with wonder. As they approached a tree, Bambi noticed some strange-looking animals hanging by their tails. Bambi turned his head upside down to get a better look. The little animals were smiling at him. "Hello, young prince." Said the possum family cheerily. As Bambi continued exploring, he heard a funny sound. He looked all around until he noticed a little rabbit thumping on an old log with one of his hind legs. That's why they call me Thumper," said the little rabbit proudly. Thumper tried teaching Bambi the names of all the animals they came across in the forest. Eventually, Thumper and Bambi came to a field of wildflowers. Bambi lowered his head to take in the flower's sweet smell. "That's a flower," instructed Thumper. Bambi noticed an animal with black and white fur hiding among the wildflower. "Flower!" exclaimed Bambi. Thumper started to laugh. <laughs> "He's a skunk." Explained Thumper, but the shy little skunk didn't mind his new nickname. Bambi, Thumper, and Flower became the best of friends. Bambi's mother brought him to an open meadow, where he met a lovely young doe named Feline. At first, Feline thought Bambi was too shy, but it wasn't long before the two deer were playing happily together. Bambi was so surprised to see so many deer in the meadow. Suddenly, all the animals stopped to watch a majestic stag approaching. The stag's enormous antlers resembled a crown on his head. The regal stag looked Bambi in the eyes. Bambi felt very small in his presence. Of all the deer, he's the wisest and most brave," explained Bambi's mother. "That's why he's known as the Great Prince of the Forest." Soon, summer turned into fall, and the days began to get colder. One morning, Bambi woke up to find that everything had been covered over in a glistening white layer. Bambi's mother smiled and explained to him that. This white layer was called snow. Later, Bambi and Thumper discovered that the pond had been frozen over. Watch what I can do," said the little rabbit as he slid across the ice. Bambi wanted to join in on the fun too, but as he slid across the ice, his gangly legs gave out from under him. Bambi slid across the frozen pond on his stomach instead. Winter was beginning to feel very long, and Bambi wondered when it would be over. There wasn't much food to eat, and Bambi was feeling very hungry. Thankfully, the weather began to warm up again. Look! cried Bambi's mother excitedly. New spring grass! Bambi started to nibble at the tender green shoots. Suddenly, Bambi's mother raised her head and picked up her ears. She could hear loud gunshots in the distance. "Run, Bambi!" she yelled. The little fawn ran as fast as he could to get away from the hunters. Luckily, Bambi was able to escape, but. His mother was nowhere to be found.
As Bambi started back to look for her, he met the great prince. Your mother can't be with you anymore, said the stag sadly. Bambi lowered his head and started to cry. Come, my son, said the stag. Without a word, Bambi followed his father. A year passed before Bambi returned to the place of his childhood. Bambi was no longer a little fawn, but a sure-footed young deer. Bambi walked through the forest with his antlers held high. Hello, Bambi, remember me? asked the rabbit. He thumped his hind leg and smiled. Unexpectedly, a skunk popped out from a patch of wildflowers. Bambi, Thumper, and Flower watched as a pair of birds chased each other wildly in the air. They're twitter padded, said Owl. It was Owl's way of explaining that the birds were acting silly because they were in love. He told Bambi, Thumper, and Flower that they would fall in love one day too. The three friends continued on their way. They thought that they could never be twitter padded. Just then, Flower noticed a pretty lady skunk looking at him with big blue eyes. He now understood what it meant to be Twitter padded. Right afterwards, Thumper heard a lady rabbit singing. She had long, soft ears. Thumper couldn't stop his hind leg from thumping. As Bambi continued on his own, he came upon a familiar face. Hello, Bambi, said Feline. At first, Bambi shied away, trying to get away from Feline, but Bambi's antlers got tangled in the branches of a tree. Feline walked up to Bambi and licked his face tenderly. Bambi realized that he was now Twitter padded, too. Rono, a young deer, was jealous of Bambi and wanted Feline all to himself. He challenged Bambi to a duel. With their antlers lowered, the two deer charged at each other. Bambi, being the stronger of the two, managed to push Rono down the side of the mountain. Feline was thankful that Bambi had won and nuzzled up to her champion. Later that night, Bambi sensed danger lurking nearby and got up to investigate. He noticed smoke in the distance. It's man said a voice behind him. It was the great prince. We must go deep into the forest. Hurry, follow me. Bambi started to follow his father, but then stopped when he remembered Feline was all alone. Suddenly, he heard barking sounds, and Bambi quickened his pace. Feline was being cornered by a pack of vicious dogs. Bambi valiantly held them off, giving Feline a chance to escape. Without warning, a gunshot rang out and Bambi fell to the ground. The wall of fire was getting closer. Luckily, the great prince appeared just in time to lead his son away from the menacing flames. Bambi was relieved to find Feline safe and sound. Once again, spring was in the air and the animals of the forest were making their way to a clearing in the woods. Between the long legs of Bambi and Feline were two adorable little princes. 